Hi everyone, how are you? I wishing you a happy holiday. We're getting into the holiday season and I wanted to talk to you about something really important, especially since we're coming into the holiday season, which is adrenal fatigue and adrenal burnout. I want to talk to you about the symptoms to see maybe if you think you might have it and, and the things you can do to get rid of it or help get rid of it. So first of all, are you experiencing low energy levels? You just don't have that get up and go like you used to, or maybe in the afternoon you are just crashing and you, you just cannot move. That's what I'm talking when I say really low energy. How about another symptom is mental fogginess or fuzziness. Your thoughts are kind of scattered. You're having a hard time focusing. That's another symptom of adrenal fatigue. How about being overwhelmed, but overwhelmed more than usual. Like you have a really, really short fuse at work or at home, and that's just not like you. How about food cravings? Food cravings for things that are salty or the opposite, totally very sweet, which were out of the norm for you. We all like food and sweet and salty food, but like you're just craving it, you can't get enough of it. How about sleep? Sleep is huge. Are you experiencing either um, having trouble going? I'm not sure if I stopped the video. So here we go. Are you having trouble um, falling asleep or staying asleep? Are you waking a lot, waking up a lot during the night? How about weight gain? Are you experiencing um, unexplainable weight gain Waste in the hip area. Uh, that could be another sign. Another sign of adrenal fatigue can be that your immune response is very low. You're getting sick often. If you get a cut or a bruise, it's taking an extra long time to heal. That definitely was happening to me. That was one of the first things that I noticed along with my sleep. Another thing is that your your PM, you know, your you have very bad PMS signs, much worse than usual. You have a very, very low libido. Keep that in mind because when you have really bad PMS symptoms, something is going on. Okay, so what are some things that we can do to help um I have my notes here, just so I don't forget, that we can help to help heal that adrenal. So the first thing we're gonna do is starting to cut out sugar and caffeine because sugar and caffeine raise stress in the body and we really need to get um, stress away and out of our body and out of our lives as much as we can. They're really a quick fix, feeling like you're getting more energy instantly but really you're gonna be paying, off, paying for it later on in the day. Another thing you can do is cut out processed foods. You know, I know, they don't belong in our diet. They sneak in and then we gotta kick them back out. So really, really start eating better nutrient dense foods. A great way to do that is through green smoothies. You can get so many nutrients in at once. I have great recipes on my website, so go check them out. Um, eating organic foods is really important too. And why do I say this? Because foods are sprayed with so many chemicals and pesticides, and those are endocrine hormone disruptors. Our adrenals are hormones, so we don't, our adrenals are back here. Um, we we want to get rid of as many toxic things coming into our bodies as possible to let the adrenals heal. Next thing is to eliminate toxins in our beauty care products and in our cleaning products, the things we use in our homes. The average person puts uh, leaves the house every day with over 200 toxic chemicals in and on their bodies, from their shampoos to their toothpaste to perfume. It's crazy. Those are hormone disruptors. That is going to add to adrenal fatigue. So start reading the labels and cleaning those things up. 
Another thing is if you think that you're having adrenal fatigue, you don't want to be exercising hard, like doing high intensity workouts. The body's going to perceive that as stress and your adrenals are just going to be more burnt out. So some things you can do are a nice light walk, a light, a light bike ride, a nice gentle yoga class. I actually just recently went to a restorative yoga class, which was beautiful. If you can find that in your area, that would be so amazing. Um, Another thing we can do to help adrenal fatigue is to eat throughout the day so we don't get that slump in our energy so that our body is not being stressed out. And some of us do better eating five or six meals a day and some of us do better eating just three meals a day. So see what works best for you, but make sure that you are eating and not um, not eating enough because that's going to put stress on your body and your adrenals too. Another thing is to get better sleep. So if we're having problems sleeping, Laura, how do we get better sleep? Turn off the TV earlier. Turn off the computer earlier. Those are all red light, I mean blue light coming into your eyes, which tells the body to be awake. If you think of nature, it gets dark, we used to sit around the fire. Red light is really what tells the body it's time to relax and go to sleep. So grab a book, have a nice warm cup of decaffeinated tea, change your sleeping habits. And then another thing that you can do is obviously go to your doctor because your doctor, you're gonna to wanna to get a baseline hormone panel. That's always a good thing to have. And then also you can um, try some supplements that are good for adrenal support and also eating foods that are good for your adrenals, such as coconuts, coconut oil, olives, avocados. Those are your healthy fats. Increasing the amount of greens in your diet, cruciferous vegetables, also broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, making sure you're getting enough healthy um, fats, like I said, through nuts and seeds. We could do pumpkin seeds, chia seeds. I have a great chia seed pudding recipe. Uh, uh, you could use Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt because those are filled with trace minerals that your body needs. Oftentimes, uh, our bodies are lacking the trace minerals they need. It needs to function really well. Seaweed and kelp are also great things. So you could eat some more sushi or you can get like kelp that you just kind of sprinkle on your food. You can sprinkle it on a salad, anything. Those are some great, great things to do to help your adrenals. So the number one thing is cutting down on stress and taking things a little slower, especially during this holiday season. So I hope that helps you guys. I love you. I'm working on new videos and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.